Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be checking out some Happy Chaos gameplay. Now, Happy Chaos is clearly a really well-designed character, because even within the few weeks that Happy Chaos has been out, players and pro players have been able to find different ways of playing the character to make him seem really unique, depending on who's playing him. So for example, example that we're going to use in this video is Gobo vs. Sonic Fox, where Gobo uses Happy Chaos as more of a really powerful space control, kind of long distance zony character, not full on zoning, but he uses a lot more of the steady aim stance and keeping distance and using his amazing tools to keep the opponent out if he wants to. Whereas Sonic Fox likes to use Happy Chaos as a tricky, close up, rush down, crossover, kind of crazy character and they like doing interesting resets and pressure and stuff like that. It's just really interesting being able to compare that these this one character can be played in such different ways, which isn't something we really find in Strive, where characters have really predetermined and obviously built character archetypes, how they should play, be played this one way, and there are, you know, you do this in this situation, and this is just how the character is, whereas Happy Chaos seems a lot more chaotic. He did bring the drama. So, we're going to look at some Gobo and some Sonic Fox gameplay and compare and contrast the two types of gameplay and just see if we can learn something from them. But uh, yeah, let's start off with Gobo. We're just going to watch through one of his online matches and check it out. So first we have Happy Chaos vs Jacko. And if you can see right off of the back, as soon as he goes for the burst, he goes, well, yeah, the fact that he goes for a burst right at the beginning, he just doesn't want to be super close. If he bursts, he puts them full screen, and he can go for a steady aim stance, and you can see he does that straight away. Homes in for a little bit of a second, and... Sorry to pause it for a little bit at the start, but I need to say this. Gobo is probably the best player I've seen at using the steady aim stance. He uses it so effectively for screen control, for combos, for pressure. He uses it so well. He is able to know how to use it. So off of the steady aim stance, you can either just cancel it by doing the input again, or you can cancel it into other special moves. And he does it so well. So in this instance, I'll point it out every time, but there, he just did the steady aim stance into the curse throw, because the th curse throw jumps backwards. So while Jacko is running in, Happy Chaos jumps backwards to build more space. And then well, with this extra space, he gets time to go for his focus. And then see, he cancels it instantly after that gunshot, keeps himself plus, and then goes for it again instead of running in, because, you know, <laughs> this Jacko player is probably like, oh, he's gonna, you know, maybe do some pressure or do some more gunshots or something, but he cancels it and then does it again. So he gets to save some concentration and, oh, it's just too good. And th as you can see there, he cancels it into a single bullet reload, which keeps it plus on block and he gets the bullet back. So it's just like it's using a little bit of concentration, and zero bullets, because he builds back the bullet while staying plus, and get press around off of it. He's just so ridiculous using it. So, see, he's far away, what does he do? Okay, he dashes in, maybe tries to, you know, get the cross up. Now that he's far away, cancels that into his focus, so he gets his concentration back, since it's, that's his most important resource. Since he's building back bullets every time he does his um, gunshots, basically, or his steady aim gunshots. Now he throws out the clone to do a jump back, to hold her back, instead of just doing the curse, because, you know, the curse doesn't actually hit the opponent. It's only good for making space and making your bullets more accurate. But if he wants to really get space and have time to do something, he can throw out this clone. And that just lets him run away to get his stuff back, so that he can do the zoning. So, and as you can see, what we're about to see here is he gets four bullet shots in a row, because he cancels the gunshot really quickly after the first one, then goes into it again. And if you're a Happy Chaos player, you'll know that usually you can only get three heavy, um, steady aim stance gunshots in a row before the opponent just falls to the ground. But because of this cancel that he does, he gets four of them and can cancel into the ultimate. So he gets all of his bullets back, and look at all that damage from a single steady aim stance gunshot. That is ridiculous. And this time he just cancels it normally and goes in for pressure. And now Jacko's like, oh, what the hell? I'm not expecting this. Now he has this brief moment of rushdown, and that just freaks the opponent out every time. Oh, see, that is ridiculous. So he... <laughs> Sorry to say it every time, but he did the full charged steady aim stance, so it had the high launch. Then he cancelled the steady the the shot into the curse throw, 
then cancelled the curse throw, or not cancelled the curse throw, but then went straight back into the steady aim stance, and because the curse increases the accuracy of your bullets, he was able to instantly shoot and didn't have to hold it at all, so he was able to get the two gunshots while also getting the curse, and then also cancel that into the focus to What? What? He's too good at this! And, you know, while Jacko's hiding behind the clone, because she's like, oh, I don't want to press the button or it'll get absorbed, he just runs up and grabs. Uses it like Sato's a pose. Plays it very patiently on defense, just sits there, waits for a gap. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See, how, how does he end the combo? He gets a hard knockdown into the curse throw to build some space, and shoots them to push the opponent further away from the hard knockdown, so you're basically full screen from ending that combo, and you've got the curse on, so all of his bullets track instantly, and having the curse on makes the steady aim stance even scarier, because he can just instantly shoot, he doesn't have to wait in the slightest, so it makes his things a lot more advantageous, and he can do them a lot faster, it just is ridiculous. Ooh, counter hit combo. Nice. Into the launch, into the single gunshot, into the wall splat. Wow. That was good. So now he's in defense in the corner, so a little bit tricky. Let's see what he does. Just takes the right time to dash out. Nice. <laughs> Oldie but a goodie. And see, he just held the gunshot. Like, you know, he ran away. He brought out the clone, and now he just has all the time in the world to do anything, because he's full screen, he's got a wall in front of him, a one-hit absorbing wall, so he can just hold down his steady aim stance for as long as he likes, and there's nothing he can do about it, and if, you know, he does get the hit, cool. Just runs in, gets hit by 5k. Yeah, Gobo's Happy Chaos is kind of ridiculous. So, now let's go into a Sonic Fox Max match, and, you know, Go straight into Sonic Fox and see how their gameplay differentiates from each other. Yep. <laughs> okay, so here Sonic Fox is obviously playing Happy Chaos and up against an Axel. And we'll see that Sonic's way of playing Happy Chaos is a lot more close and offensive than Gobo's. So right off the bat, he uses the gunshot stance into reload and he just runs forwards and does, you know, some tricky movement in the air. Axel wants to push him full screen, obviously. Because Happy Chaos's defense is pretty weak, obviously Sonic Fox also plays very patient when he's on defense, because he can't, you know, mash a DP or anything, so he just plays patiently and waits for the right opportunity. And as you can see here, finds the right time to jump and dash in and gets a counter hit, so he's going to get rewarded greatly for it. Does mess up his combo slightly, but luckily he's brought Axel nearly to the opposite wall. And he goes for an offensive burst here to keep Axel in the corner, so he can keep his offense going. And I think he assumed Axel would press a button there, so he just went straight for an ultimate. Which is not something we see Gobo do, like, at all. He doesn't just throw out random ultimates, but Sonic Fox seems to enjoy doing that, and trying to catch out people's buttons. And it's particularly air dashes, which is something Rai really enjoyed doing too, is catching air dashes with this Deus Ex Machina. As you can see, he uses it as more of an offensive tool than a zoning tool. Because it takes a lot of health or... or, um... Meter. Gets clipped by Axel. Gets Axel Bomber to death, nearly? No. Right. So he did get a little bit bested by Axel in this round. But... Brunus already is going to make the comeback. So... There you can see, instead of, you know, dashing back or doing a curse or doing a clone at the start of the round to build some distance, he runs forward, and obviously this is a bit different because it's against Axel, but still. Runs forward, does a 2S, cancels it into his gunshot stance, and instead of doing the gunshot, um, the steady aim, shot into cancel, into steady aim, more shots to make, uh, you know, full screen distance, throw out a curse, rebuild your resources and stuff like that that we saw Gobo do, where, you know, he got the four gunshots in a row, then built his resources by using the ultimate and then doing the focus to get everything back. Sonic Fox usually decides to go for a roll to close the distance and get a combo going from it. 
And if he's near the wall, as you can see here, he gets the wall splat into the focus regain, which is just, you know, a smart happy chaos thing and breaks the wall. But he decides to, instead of building distance, go in, go for a combo, and yeah, get the positive bonus from the wall break. And he's straight back in the corner on top of Axel. See, in the previous video we saw with Gobo, the one cornering the opponent was actually Jacko most of the time. She was the one chasing down Happy Chaos, whereas in this one, Happy Chaos is chasing down Axel into the corner and keeping him pressed in there. And he whiffs a throw, but PRCs to beat Axel's jump heavy slash. He sort himself here, so now, you know, Axel's in his territory. But he just runs in, and as you can see there, he uses his bullets in an offensive way to get in on the opponent. Whereas Gobo may use his steady aim stance to use the advantage to go through a curse to jump backwards, Sonic Fox likes to use his regular gun stance to run in on the opponent. If the opponent stands still for a little bit, the blue reticule gets stuck on the opponent, then he can just start firing while he runs in. So he closes the distance and then he can go for some pressure and throw mix-ups. It's yeah. It's very different, but it's still very effective. Ooh! He gets... Oh yeah, Sonic tried to do a 2S there, but he got clipped by Axel, who beat him with the 2H. See, he's struggling a bit, but he's trying to get in. He's not playing the zoning game by throwing out the clone or throwing out curses from full distance. He's just really trying to get in, and as we can see, he's in the corner now, so let's see the comeback. <laughs> Goes for a grab. Axel's like, no, 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 please go away. Oh, but then he ends up running in, so maybe I take it back, Axel. Kind of messes up a combo, messes up a combo twice, but just see all that pressure he does in the corner by going for, you know, gunshot into 5k, 6k, gunshot, maybe a grab, maybe another thing. Axel got clipped because he was scared, goes for an ultimate, and this is probably going to kill. Thanks to Axel health, yeah. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah. That was Sonic Fox gameplay. Now let's go back to a different matchup with Gobo, just so we're not, you know, not cherry-picking specific matchups to make their gameplay seem too different, so we'll show a few different matches. Okay, so now let's check out how Gobo approaches the exact same matchup, so Happy Chaos versus Axel, but now it's Gobo instead of Sonic Fox. Ooh, tries to go for some tricky roll stuff, but doesn't really work, but now that, that we're full screen, he gets to go for a charged heavy aim stance into focus regain. Throws a curse, now... I've realized that's why Gobo loves the curses so much. You know, some people don't really use the curses as much, but if Gobo is a heavy zoning based happy chaos, using the curse makes his steady aim stance so much better. That's why he loves throwing out so much, because he can just go for this ridiculous pressure where he can kind of keep looping almost, just because it makes his steady aim stance so much better. So, oh, but Axel was able to interrupt it because he was just within the distance of his <laughs> 5p. But see, cancel it. I think he's even going to convert off of this. Yo, what was that? I'm sorry, we need to see that again. Okay, so we're zoning. Throws out a curse. Cancels. Re gets a bullet. Cancels. Gets a bullet. Tries to do it again, but it actually calls him out. So, does the gunshot. Cancels it instantly. Oh, also does it instantly thanks to the curse. He doesn't have to wait for it to the reticule to land on Axel. He just does it instantly. Then, gets his bullet back. Then runs in, goes for a 6k, then cancels into the gunshot stance again, gets another bullet in the middle of the combo, then runs forwards again, gets another 6k, and oof, maybe if he was a little bit closer, that gun stance would have actually launched Axel again, and he could have extended it even more. Come on, that combo is ridiculous, and he built back all the bullets, bullets he used in it, in the middle of the combo. Oh, that is crazy. Axel had enough of being comboed, so he burst instantly. Okay, got another curse on instantly. See, all of these, like, the steady aim stance into bullet revamp, bullet, steady aim stance into, um, 
uh, what's it called, focus. And Axel knows that if he goes for the focus, he has more time to run in because focus lasts longer. But that's the mix up. Does he go for the bullet regen or does he go for the focus? Because if he does a bullet regen, you don't want to run too much or you get caught clipped with another bullet or a button or something. And, and then he goes for the curse while he runs in to build more space and he goes for the clone. And when he goes for the clone, Axel wasn't expecting him to go for the clone. So he goes for a 2S and punishes Axel for trying to not, for Axel not seeing that he's going to go for the clone. It's ridiculous. And then he gets a conversion off of it by running in with his regular gunshots. And then uses his last gunshot to convert into the ultimate. <laughs> how does that even get to... I have no idea how that even got to the wall. But that was... That was ridiculous. He just converted off of his, you know, stray bullet. Got to run in. Get the, like, 5k 6k bullet, 5k 6k bullet. Ultimate wins. So as you can see in this matchup, he is adapting to be a little bit more rushdown based, seeing as, you know, uh, Axel also wants to zone, so when he gets in close, his offense is actually a lot more powerful than it would have been against someone that's, you know, a bit more defensive, like someone with a DP like Kai or um, Soul Bad Guy. So when he does his offense, he's being a little bit more feisty about it, whereas usually he'd be, you know, more feisty with his zoning. But he still does zoning here because, you know, if Axel wants to stand full screen, cool. I guess you're just giving him the perfect opportunity to zone. So everything just works well for Happy Chaos and for Gobo in this situation. See? Oh! Oh! Caught the Rensen with it? Curse? Now it's over. As soon as Gobo gets a curse, it's done. <laughs> so is that another curse? Yep. Focus. Bullet re- Oh! <laughs> Focus, steady aim shot, bullet regain, steady aim shot, oh he's dead. I'm like, oh, Gobo is just ridiculous with this character. And I just love that his gameplay is so different to other Happy Chaos gameplay. And that watching different players play the same character can actually be different is just so refreshing. Now let's check out a Soul Bad Guy match, because I think we can agree. Soul Bad Guy is a lot more close and offense and gorilla -y than Axel. So, very different matchup. Let's see how Gobo adapts and how he'll play it um, versus Sonic Fox. Oh, using his 2S a lot to space out um, Sol. Oh, nice conversion off of his dust. Gets the focus and all the bullets back. Oof, kind of slow though, messes it up. As you can see, this Soul I think is pretty experienced in the Happy Chaos matchup because he's moving a lot. He's running all over the screen just so the red kill doesn't get stuck on him. But he got clipped. Now Gobo is building back all of his resources. Oh, bullet regen. <laughs> like, just that he's able to do this so quickly. He does the stadium stance, shoot, bullet regen, stadium stance, shoot. And then gets the three bullets and gets the bullets back and... Ah, too good. Getting comboed now though, doesn't have much health to do that. Curse into the oh, Ooh. what was that? I'm sorry, we are watching that again because that was awesome. Okay, so we're over here. He gets a gunshot. He's running in, cancels into another gunshot, and now okay, so he's just walking in. He's got a curse on him. Having a curse means it's over. You go, Bob. With some buttons, even. You know, Soul gets to go in for his combo, but burst. And now you're full screen. Steady aim stance, GG's. Fire, curse. Into the, oh, into the super focus to build back all the focus so he can just go wild with the steady aim stance and have tons of concentration just so he can chip him out completely. Steady aim stance, bullet regen, steady aim stance, bullet regen probably, but that, <laughs> Sol either got hit or didn't FD. Ooh. Oh. And these conversions are actually so cool, and they're not something that a lot of people use, actually. Um, I know I don't do it, and I probably don't have the execution to do it, but going for regular gunshots into cancelling into the steady aim stance. So if we go slow here, so he does a regular shot and cancels the regular shot, or not cancels the regular shot, but cancels the recovery of the two, the success into the steady aim stance but he used a regular gunshot in there to get an extra like full push away 
so that he can cancel that and then he's brought all the way into the corner and gets the wall splat just from using a few bullets from like more than mid screen that is just crazy Oh no, you cannot jump over that clone, I'll push you back over it. Oh my lord! Yo, oh. My jaw was dropped. <laughs> I could. I had no idea what was going on in the second half of that match. We are. Uh... So, here we are. Gets a little bit of a combo, soul breaks it. Grabs, and then uses his opportunity to build some bullets, then run away by summoning the clone, making this, you know, big wall in front of him, which is really useful for beating things that soul has, like his, um, Night Raid Vortex thingy. And when he tries to jump over it, no, 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 push him back over, then he uses... He gets extra advantage from the gunshot by cancelling into super focus and gets all of his concentration back and has a concentration boost so he can use more of his steady aim stance with using barely any concentration. So, steady aim gunshot, bullet regen, steady aim gunshot, bullet regen, steady aim gunshot. <laughs> into super focus again to get so much focus. I mean, so much concentration. Steady aim gunshot, re um, bullet regen, <laughs> steady aim gunshot into the runaway using the curse throw. So now he's further away and Sol's like, oh crap, I need to run even more. But now the curse is on him, the, he can do the steady aim stance even faster than he was before. Does it again, ah, and then gets a 2S, does it again. And just ends up with a fast slash because Sol's just getting so freaked out by all of this ridiculous like mid-screen to far, full screen pressure. So he's just running in, then he gets clipped by a fast slash because he's just sick of it. Not yet. Anyway. Good stuff. <clears throat> okay, so we already saw how Sonic dealt with Axel by rushing him down, and we've already seen how Gobo dealt with Axel, Azona, and Sol, you know, Gorilla. So now let's see how Sonic deals with a character like Sol. Okay. <laughs> This isn't a happy chaos thing, but Sonic does not fall for the bandit revolver trickery. Just goes straight for the punish, and straight in for some happy combos. Oh, okay, that that is not normal. That is a very good choice of combo there, because you get a side switch using the roll. Now Sol is cornered, and now Sonic can actually get a wall break just from being in the corner. He gets like half of Sol's health, gets positive bonus. It's great. Punishes with the 2D, nice. Builds back a ton of bullets with that knockdown. And yep, as I said, Sonic really loves using this ultimate as his main, like, spacing tool in zoning. Instead of, you know, Gobo really loves his steady aim stance and really fo focusing on that, when Sonic is far away and he wants to punish something, he just loves going for Deus Ex Machina and just ending it. <laughs> Mainly because it looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, see, so not falling for any of that bandit stuff. Smack him out of there. And as you see, when he gets the knockdown, when he finishes a combo, just the obvious difference between these two players is Sonic decides to run forwards. He runs in and jumps and has the gun stance out and tries to go in for some more pressure. Whereas Gobo did not. Not saying that there is a right or wrong, by the way, I'm just pointing out that there are two so unique playstyles with one character, and I think that's awesome. Going from pressure off of the, um, the steady aim stance, instead of using it to rebuild bullets and go into steady aim stance again, and then build distance with the, you know, the gobo strategy, Sonic Fox is just like, okay, um, I'll just steady aim stance, do the bullet, use that advantage, and go in for some more regular pressure, and go for the cross-up roll, and get convert off of the cross-up roll, and... You can't see it, or actually you can see it, look at the inputs there. Sonic did try to go for an Deus Ex Machina after that cross-up roll, so that would have rebuilt all the bullets, but he was just out of um, Happy Chaos's concentration meter just ran out, so Happy couldn't do his ultimate because he needs concentration. It's a little bit of a mistake on Sonic Fox's part there, but 
It's hard to micromanage a meter in the middle of a battle. <laughs> so, no disrespect to them. Ooh! Using the curse in a combo this time, instead of as a spacing tool. And now that the curse is on, Sonic can just go crazy and they'll use their gun to just do pressure press buttons and cover them with gunshots and there's really not much Soul could have done there. And that was a really short match. I think we can we can show one more with Sonic since we did still Yeah, that'll make it even. <laughs> I'll be back. You're the star of the show, no matter what word that is. Chaos wins. Duel one. Okay, so Sonic Happy versus Soul again. A lot of random scrambly buttons, but maybe that was a bad connection. <laughs> Ooh! See, that is such a more offensive way of using Happy Chaos. Just instead of, you know, cancelling straight into gunshots or something and going for regular pressure, or, you know, trying to run away or do whatever, Sonic likes to use this steady aim stance as a really cool, advantageous pressure tool. He just cancels his random 6S into the steady aim stance, and Sol isn't expecting that, so Sonic gets time to do the charged version of the steady aim stance, where it does a lot, it does this massive guard break and he gets hella advantage. And he could have rolled and gone for more pressure, but he just decides to go for a roll there, and then Sonic, with, you know, their awesome execution, decides to go for a combo. And oof, ran out of concentration. <laughs> Goes for a burst though on the dash in, so that they have some distance so they can build back all their resources. So they <laughs> this is Sonic playing their defensive game. Just standing back for a little bit, seeing what Soul does. Oh, decides to air dash in, Deus Ex Machina. Love it. <laughs> and now that their gun is out, can go some gunshots, but obviously Sol wants to run in, and Sonic loves that. They're like, sure, you want to run in? I'll take it. How do- oh. <laughs> Regular bullets do such tiny damage, what the hell was that? I can feel Sonic's pain there, that, <laughs> that totally should have killed. My 6p. This is just something about Sonic overall, but they are just so good at playing reactively in no matter what game. Like, their reactions are on point, they're just, oh, too good. So good at on-the-fly adapting and on-the-fly reacting. Oh, look at that. See? See, that's, that's it there again, the exact same thing. A 6S into the charge steady aim stance, and then just, yeah. Gets a conversion off of the reset when, you know, Soul falls down and he's like, oh, surely you're not going to do another one. Does another one, gets a combo off of it, kind of messes it up though, but that's fine. Right. Gets back all of his concentration from the hard knockdown. But instead of using the hard knockdown to run away and throw the curse and then do his focus, Sonic decides to do it in his face so he stays close. See, shoots the gun in his face, goes for a roll, now we're in. Ooh, nice conversion! Off of a regular standing punch. And now, oh, I was gonna say, now Soul's pretty damn dead, huh? That, that's death. <laughs> that's Sonic taking revenge on that combo not winning last round. Now it did. But, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna end it there. We've looked at a decent number of matches with these two players. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this maybe slightly different video. I just really wanted to look at- it was mainly for my benefit, honestly, making this video. I just love watching these two players, these two pro players, who can use this one character that's come out pretty recently in such vastly different ways, in completely different playstyles, but still make it work really well, and none of them feel like they're at a extreme disadvantage. So. It's kind of what people talk about with this game as player expression. People can play the character how they want and use their own creativity and their own player expression to play the character how they want. And 
a lot of people rebut by saying that, like, oh, if I'm playing Axel, I still can play offensively. You know, you just have to play a little bit differently. But Axel, if he tries to play offensively, he's at a disadvantage. He has more of an advantage if he's playing full screen against someone like Sol than if he's trying to get in his face and do close range things, because he's such a specific character archetype. And that, obviously, that's an extreme example, because Ar Axel is such an extreme character. But a lot of characters have very streamlined playstyles, like even Ramlethal, you know, slash fast slash, <laughs> slash heavy slash, is basically her whole game, and then get you to the corner and do her pressure. But Happy Chaos, I'm loving his addition to the game, and I'm hoping this is where the game is going to go in the future. Maybe with the DLC characters that are to come, or maybe in future updates, the characters that we already have will become a little bit more rich with character expression, or player expression, but we'll just have to wait and see. But Thanks to Gobo and Sonic Fox for showing us, or for giving us this awesome gameplay and getting good at the character so that we can see this juicy Happy Chaos gameplay. But anyways, thanks for watching all day through this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in another one. Bye bye